Welcome back, LHS, to your Blue Devil News. I'm Elena. And I'm Anna. With us being out for weather, you may have forgotten that there are several things due by tomorrow, February 26th, so listen up. Any student who would like to take work-based learning co-op next school year should see Miss Major in A807 by tomorrow. Money and forms for the Vol State Medical Terminology Test and for HOSA graduation stoles are also due by February 26th. The cost for both of them are $25. In order to qualify for HOSA graduation stoles, one must successfully completed five health science classes or be state nationally affiliated and completed three health science classes or completed one health science class and be an active state competitor. The medical terminology test is slated for April 10th. Those who successfully complete this test will earn three college credits in medical terminology. Now, let's see how our Blue Devils did last week in trivia. What planet has the most rings? Has the most rings. Saturn. Yeah. Saturn. What is Saturn. Okay. And then... That's the most what? Yes. Congrats to Ms. Corella for taking the lead in the science portion last week. SkillsUSA is sponsoring a dog food drive to support Lebanon animal control. Bring donations to C302 this week and come out to LHS on Saturday, March 2nd from 10 to 2 to adopt a pet. Our club will meet today in A102 at 2.30. There will be a YIG meeting after school Wednesday that is extremely important. There will be a student council meeting February 28th in B211. The Humane Society will meet on March 5th after school in C200. This week and next week, Lebanon's Humane Society will be selling hot chocolate and baked goods in the Commons each morning until 7.15. Everything is 75 cents and helps support local animal shelters. Now, let's toss it to Ian with sports. What's up, LHS? I'm Ian, and this is your sports news. The Preds play the Oilers tonight at 7. The Preds are still second in the Central Division, but they are really close to passing up the Jets. Let's see if the 14th-ranked Memphis Grizzlies can beat the 10th-ranked L.A. Lakers. Tune in tonight at 7. Your Lebanon Devilettes defeated Clarksville Friday night 62-44 in the quarterfinal round of the Region 5 AAA Tournament. Thank you to all the students that showed up despite the bad weather Friday. Here are some highlights. Now we move on to the semifinals. Tonight against county rivals Wilson Central at 6 p.m. at Gallatin. 
Not only do we need to win the battle of the court, but we need to win the battle of the student section tonight. Please come support your Devilettes as they are looking to earn a berth in next week's state tournament at MTSU. The Blue Devil Rugby Football Club braved the cold rain and mud at practice last week. Their first home game is Thursday, March 7th at 7 against Rutherford. All home games are played at Walter J. Barrett's Middle School's football field. I'm Ian, and this has been your sports news. Thanks, Ian. Freshman, sophomore, and senior class charts are on sale at the bank. Class charts are a great way to have a tangible memory of high school. Seniors, today is the last day to vote for senior superlatives. A table will be outside of A303 during lunch. Seniors are allowed to vote only once, and no underclassmen are allowed to vote. Prom may seem far away, but April 5th is just around the corner, and it's never too early to start planning. The theme is a night of a million dreams after the greatest showman, and prom will be held at the mills. When running your tux, go to the men's warehouse. They offer complete prom rental packages starting at $99.99, and FBLA has arranged for you to have a $40 off coupon. Just mention you are from Lebanon High School. Don't delay. Applications for next year's Criminal Justice Practicum Job Shadow course are available in Guidance, at the Bank, and C302. All completed applications need to be turned into Mr. Lakeman in C302 by today. Seniors, as a reminder, to remain eligible for the TN Promise Scholarship, there is a mandatory meeting at 5 p.m. in the cafeteria on March 6th. Anyone interested in being part of a crew for the musical, please see Ms. Fitzgerald in room A704. Applications for next year's bank class are due by March 1st. They can be picked up outside the bank or in guidance. Let's see what our shoulder devil is up to. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Anthony, and oh boy, do I have a game to talk about today. Today's game is called Singularity, a sci-fi shooter about time travel, and it's probably one of the best games that I have played in years. So you play as Captain Renko, a soldier from the US military, as he and his team go out to this Russian island, Katorga 12, to investigate a mysterious energy surge. Now I'm gonna leave it at there, because I personally believe you should go and play this game and experience the story for yourself, because it's really good up until the end. Probably one of the best things about this game is the quality of it. You know, the, the amount of time and effort they put into this game. It looks amazing, both in the graphics and animation. Games like Half-Life and Fallout, they have like the characters that, you know, they stand still. They have the, the same looping animations over and over. They might raise their hand. Uh, the stiff, expressionless faces, even though their voices have emotion, their face is just like... The animations in this game, the animations complement the voice actor's work and the characters seem to ha actually have emotion and that looks really good in the end. Another cool thing about this game is the mixed combat. So in the game you have a variety of guns and weapons and then you have the TMD which or the time manipulation device. The TMD has a range of abilities from aging enemies and objects between old and new to creating this giant sphere that seems to freeze time. Uh, you know, it's basically a giant time bubble. Now the TMD has an energy bar, so you know, you can't just use this overpowered scientific discovery. You kind of kind of combine and be tactful. The game is also historically accurate as well. Again, not going to spoil anything, but I think, you know, just go play the game. It's really good. Now hopefully you have $25 because it does cost money, but I think it's worth it in the end. Also the boss fights are really cool, so that's something to keep in mind as well. Either way, that's about it, uh, LHS. I hope you actually take this game into consideration. Uh, if you do, buy it on Steam. Uh, yeah, that's it. I'm out of here by now. Last week, Miss Bunch and some of her biotech students had the honor of addressing the Tennessee House of Representatives Education Committee. The students were Hannah Lawson, Hannah Goad, Zach Huff, Isabella Bean, Miles Brewer, and Kylie Retsky. The group spoke about the groundbreaking program that was started here at LHS and the need for more biotech education across the state. The students had the chance to remark on how much they love the program and how it has shaped what they plan on doing after graduation. If you like science and like working in a lab, please stop by room B324 and speak to Ms. Bunch. It is not too late to register for biotechnology next year. Look for BioSTEM 1 in the CTE portion of your registration packet. Way to go biotech students for representing LHS. It is donut time once again. Fresh hot glaze, chocolate, and other flavors will be sold in the commons in the morning until the bell and in between classes in front of C306. Teachers, if you would like to have some delivered to your classroom, please have them email Ms. Ward. That's all we have for today, LHS. I'm Elena. And I'm Anna. 
and this has been news to you from the white and blue.